Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. In this video, let's prove the theorem 2.3.6, uh, which is the inverse of uh, a matrix that we're using as a joint. Okay, uh, this is very good method to find the inverse. Another one, uh, which is the inversion algorithm we learned before, right? So this is another directly give you uh, the definition, okay. give you the definition of the inverse uh by the adjoined matrix <clears throat> remember what is the adjoined matrix adjoined matrix is the cofactors we put all the cofactor in order of the original matrix and then transpose okay we get the adjoined and then the coefficient is one over determinant of a <clears throat> uh of course a is invertible therefore the determinant that we can put to the denominator right so how to prove this now? Let's see. Mm. Uh, we learned the theorem before, right? So this is a matrix, definitely. If this matrix is the inverse, we only need to verify this matrix is multiplied A because of identity. Okay, so we do that. So we only need to verify this, uh, let's say, 8 times 1 over determinant of 8 times a joint 8 equals i, i is identity, okay. Um, to verify this, so we need to do the same. I time determine the to both sides, or this is just equal, equivalent to A times uh, join the matrix A equals determinant of A, which is a number, right, times I. You okay, see, we focus on this. Is this true? If this is true, then the inverse of A exactly is the one we need in the theorem. Uh, we do calculation only. We can set up A's in general, N by N matrix. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so we need to calculate it now. Mm. So let's calculate it. How to calculate? Uh, we need to get a big, okay. So set up, which is A times a joint of A set up in general A11, A12 to A1 and N by N A21, A22 to A2N take another metal A N1 N2 to N N okay this is A and then I multiply the adjoint. Remember the adjoint. We have to transpose the original cofactor. Okay. Uh, so the first column is the first row of the original of the cofactor, which is uh, C. C is the cofactor. Okay. C one one, C one two, goes to C one. And this should be the original order is in the first row, right? Now it's in the first column. After the Transpose. So the second column is the original second row, which is 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, n, and then the last CN1, CN2, to CN, and. Okay, so we do calculation. This is an n by n matrix. Okay, should it be? Because n by n times n by n is n by n. Uh, let's set up uh, this as a matrix B. Uh, the general we say is bij, right? And then we can calculate all the entries bij. We calculate it one by one. The first we look at the diagonal. Okay. So what the diagonal? Um, so first the diagonal. Diagonal entry. 
of uh, P matrix matrix calculation. Um, so data from P11. Okay, P11 is P11. P11 should be the first row multiply uh, the corresponding of the first column, right? Which is A11, C11 plus A12, C12. And then I can know. The last should be A1N times C1N. Yeah, this is P11. And we are familiar with this, right? Is exactly the first row of A multiplied by the corresponding cofactors, which is a cofactor expansion, right? See, this is exactly cofactor expansion. Or faculty expansion uh, of uh, the matrix A by the first row, okay, exactly. So is what is determinant of uh, A. Very good. And then the same, you can look at uh, what is B22. B22 should be the second row times the second column. Therefore, which is the second row multiplied by the corresponding cofactors, the same, we get it, the determinant of A. And then B33, then B any, okay, so any entry uh, in the diagonal, like a, I give a general, like a BI, I, okay, should it be the ith row of A, which is a I1. And then multiply the ith column of the second matrix, which is the corresponding cofactors of the ith row, right? Which is C i one, and then A i two, C i two, and then goes on. This is A i n C i n. The same we can get at the determinant of A, the i from one to that, that, that goes to n and then what do we get we get uh, all the diagonal entries are determined of a right okay so now we get this conclusion uh let me say all uh, diagonal entry of uh, matrix b equals the determinant of a very good and then <clears throat> uh, we look at a non-diagonal okay. entries of uh, the matrix B okay. so we look at the first B12 okay. so look at B12 what is B12 uh, B12 should be the first row multiplied by the second column. Okay, so let me just highlight. See, now B12 is this row multiplied by this column. Let's copy. Okay, what do we have? And then the first row, and what is the second column? The second column exactly is the cofactors corresponding to the second row. Yeah, we do have a result of four, which is zero. Do you remember that? So let me copy, which is the first row, uh, A11. The second, the cofactor that corresponds to the second row, we just say, which is C21, uh, and then plus A12, and then C22. There goes on a one n c two n. Okay, let's check the first row. Come I mean, this second column is corresponding to uh, the second row. Okay. So now, what do we have? Okay, so this equals zero. Definitely. Uh, so and so we say the first row. Uh, so this is the sum of the product, the first row multiplied by the second rows, uh, cofactor, right? The product 
the sum of product of uh, the first row and uh, the second uh, the core factors of uh, the second row imagine uh, one row multiply uh, another row core factor we get a zero okay. that's a result is zero see very good and then the same I will look back see one three the first row multiply the third color of course another row right the third row is we get a zero the same any uh entry which is not on the diagonal so for example so a two n so we get a b two n b two n uh, which is the second row multiplied by the last column the last column corresponding to the last row therefore see the second row multiplied the last row is called back we get a zero two okay therefore all the non-diagonal entry zero uh, general like a bij what do we get should be the i throw okay so i one multiply by the j throw the core factor which is j one and then plus this, a i two c j two and then goes on a i n c j n equal zero if i does not equal to j which is the non-diagonal so uh, i can put the result here and therefore all entry or non-diagonal entries of matrix p equals zero okay see non-diagonal zero Diagonal I determinant of A. So we get uh, the result. Okay, so uh, the original, which is A multiply by, which is B, right? So we get a B. So definitely, okay, B is what? B is a, a uh, times a, a adjacent, a joint of A equals this diagonal. Diagonal matrix, uh, diagonal entry is determinant of A. So determinant of A. Then goes on determinant of A. And all others are zero. Okay. What is this exactly is the determinant of A times I identity. See? And if we back this is exactly the one we need. A multiplied by the adjacent equals the diagonal uh, matrix determinant of a times i yeah so is this right okay so this one we definitely find is two if this is true we verify so we prove the theorem <coughs> that's all thank you